Hey friends, it's Jesse. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are trying out the new Sigma Cinderella collection. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and how I created this look on my face today, then you're in the right place. Let's go. Alrighty friends, it's time to talk about the Cinderella and Sigma collab. But first I just had to show off my little apron dress, uh, Cinderella-esque. I thought it was very fitting for this collection. The dress is from Mika Rose. I believe it is still available, so I will link it in the description if you're interested. Um, and then the shirt is from my sister's closet. So let's go ahead and talk about the pieces of the collection. I did get the whole Cinderella collection. Um, honestly, I thought I was going to be going through some traumatizing life events that ended up not happening. So this was kind of my retail therapy and then I forgot about it and it showed up at my house. This collection was limited edition, but any pieces that are still currently available, I will link in the description below. The first item we have are the brushes. I've never tried Sigma brushes, but I've always wanted to. So it comes with this beautiful glittery sparkle bag, the little pendant. I don't even know what you'd call this. It has a little Cinderella face and on the back it has the Sigma sign. And then the front just says Disney princess Cinderella, super cute cute. The glitter I find a little bit impractical. I would have liked if it was just a solid um, color, but this is fine too. This is very sparkly, very princess. It makes sense. The brush set itself comes with three eye brushes and two face brushes. So we have more of a flat shadow brush, a blender, and then a pencil detailer. Um, and for face brushes, we have more of a flat top like kabuki type brush. And then this one, which could be used for blush or bronzer, is just a very standard face brush. I do have to share the detailing on these brushes. So each brush on the handle has the Cinderella silhouette kind of etched into, I don't even know if this is metal or what, but it's etched into um, the handle. So that I thought that was a really cute detail. And then the handles themselves are this beautiful blue pearl essence type color. It's really cute. And these brushes are super soft, so I'm super excited to play with them today. The collection also has a lip duo. So this has a liquid lipstick and a gloss. Really pretty mauve neutral shades. I think they're absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to try one of these today. We have a cheek duo. The cheek duo does have a highlighter and blush. And as you can see, there is some beautiful designs imprinted onto the pan. So we have a silhouette of Prince Charming and Cinderella dancing at the ball. And then the highlighter has the pumpkin carriage. So super cute detailing. And last but not least, we have the Sigma and Cinderella palette. First, I need to show you the little plastic um, protector has this beautiful gold detailing, just like the outside of the packaging. And then this is the palette. It is just so beautiful. This is one of those palettes that I saw it and I was like, yep, that's in my collection. If you know me, if you've met me in person, if you've talked to me ever, you know, I'm a kind of a Disney fanatic. I like to collect the Disney makeup. I mean, you've probably seen my ColourPop Disney collection if you've been anywhere near my channel, but this color story is just so beautiful. I feel like it's so well done. Like this is just such a unique color story. It's very wearable. It's unique enough that it makes sense with the Cinderella story, but it also caters to the everyday makeup wear, which I love. And of course we have the dual sided brush. This one also has the little Cinderella silhouettes on the handle. I've already primed my eyelids with some Fenty eye primer. And I think I wanna go for just like a neutral look today. I wanna try a lot of these colors but I've seen a lot of people do like purpley blue looks. So I think I'm gonna go for a more neutral vibe today. The first shade I'm gonna go into is pumpkin and I'm gonna use the fluffy side of the dual ended brush. I'm gonna use this as my crease shade. And this is my first time trying Sigma's eyeshadows. I've wanted to try them for a while. Samantha March has actually really made me want to try them, but I just have not yet, so. I'm excited. This is a beautiful shade. This is just such a perfect, warm, toasty transition shade. Overall, I think these blend out really nicely. Of course, I'm just using this for shade, but it seems to blend really, really beautifully and the pigment builds up really nicely. Just very soft and blown out. I think this is the vibe. Going in with my Morphe JS12 brush, I'm gonna go into this deep matte brown, which is called Cinders. And I'm going to use this to kind of build up more of a dimension in my crease. 
before going in with some of those other shades. I really like the combination of cinders and pumpkin. I think they blend really beautifully together and create that nice neutral gradient. I'm going back in with that first brush just to blend everything together. I feel like I've smoked it out a little too much on this side, but that is okay, we will fix it. As always, I like to go back and forth when blending up shades. So I'll blend it and then add a little bit more of the darker one, blend it, add a little more of the lighter one, and so on, just to get it to the perfect look. I'm gonna go into the flat side of the dual-ended brush, and I think I wanna go into Fantasy, which is this really pretty purpley rose shade. Oh my goodness, this is a stunning shade. These shimmers are so insanely creamy, and they're blending onto the eye so nice. That is gorgeous. Okay, do you see that shade? It is so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and blend this in a little bit with the fluffy side of the brush. Going to wipe a little bit off on my color switch, and then I'm going to go ahead and go into Dressmakers, which is the Champagne Shimmer, just to brighten up because I feel like this is a little bit more vampy than what I initially wanted to go for. And it looks like these shimmers will blend super nice together. That is gorgeous. These shimmers are literally the creamiest shimmers I've ever seen in my life. This is insane. And I have a lot of eyeshadow. I mean, if you've seen my eyeshadow palette collection, there's a lot to it. So... This is insane. These are so buttery. You know, I kind of wish I went into the turquoise shade. I feel like that would have been fun, but maybe we can do like an inner corner pop with it or something. Next, I'm going to take this Lexi 131 and I'm going to hop into this deepest brown shade, which is called Stroke of Midnight. And I'm going to start to do kind of like a faux liner effect. I'm starting in the outer portion of my lash line and I am just stroking that inwards towards my nose. And I'm just very softly adding up a little bit of pigment right along the lash line to give kind of that faux liner smoked out effect. And that's kind of what it's looking like. A very nice smoky look. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this Morphe Coca-Cola. This is kind of like a flat shadow brush. And I'm hopping back into Pumpkin. I'm just smoking this out on the lower lash line. I always like to do a light transition shade and then tight line it with a deeper shade. Next, I'm going to go in with my JS11 brush and again, hopping into Stroke of Midnight and we are going to tight line my lower lash line. When I do this, I don't like to take it all the way in. I like to keep it mostly on the outer third of my lower lash line just to keep this inner portion open still. I have pretty small eyes, so I like to keep them as open as possible, especially when doing smoky vampy looks like this. <laughs> my little clip looks so weird. So this is what the eye look is looking like. It's pretty vampy, pretty sultry. It's just a very standard smoky eye, but I really like that you can do like an everyday smoky eye with this. Next, I'm going to take the pencil detail brush from the brush set, and I'm going to hop into this white shade up here. This is called Wishful, and I'm going to use this as an inner corner and brow bone highlight. Look how pretty and glowy. Oh my goodness. I love this. I am going to be doing a lot of looks with this palette. Very basic everyday makeup using Sigma Cinderella. Now it's time to try some of the cheap products. Of course, there's only a duo, so I'm going to go ahead and take the blush brush from the collection, and I'm going to hop into this beautiful peachy blush. This is in the shade Ever After. I'm just lightly dusting my cheekbones because this is a very pigmented shade. In case you couldn't tell already, it's very, very pigmented. We love a good pigmented blush. I love this shade. This is gorgeous. I, hands down, I think one of my favorite collections that has come out this year. Next, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Bretman Rock Highlighting Brush and I'm gonna hop into the highlighter, which is called A Glow. I'm super excited about this. If it's anything like the shimmers, ooh! You know what this reminds me of? Does anyone remember Cookie from Benefit? It reminds me of Cookie. A little bit more champagne-y than Cookie, but 
very much cookie vibes very beautiful okay she is glowy and gorgeous i forgot to put mascara on so give me two seconds okay friends i just popped on a little bit of mascara and i also used a little bit of the ColourPop bambi eyeliner this is in the shade raindrops it's kind of like a deeper rose gold like a like a deep rose almost. I wasn't intending this to be a sultry vampy look, but that's just kind of the vibe that I'm going for now. I'm too far gone to do otherwise. Last but not least, I wanna try the lip products. I think I'm gonna go for just for the liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Dreamy. I'm not normally a liquid lipstick type of gal. I just find they are very drying, but I'm excited to try anything for a video. Okay, so I am supposed to go somewhere and my ride is here. So quick finish thoughts. This is the final look. I think it's super cute. Really sultry. Wasn't really what I was expecting, but it's great. I'm very impressed with it. Overall, I think the brushes are amazing quality. I am trying to find alternatives to Morphe because I feel like my Morphe brushes just die on me really quick. Um, and I really like that these are all synthetic bristles. It's a bit on the pricier side. I think the brushes for like a brush set, it's like 80 to to $100 depending on which set you get but I really, really enjoy these, 10 out of 10. The lipsticks, I'm already feeling that it's a little dry, but I'm naturally not super into liquid lipsticks, so I, of course, will not be a super big fan of them, but I think the colors are great. They make sense for the collection. It ties the whole look together. Next, I have the Blush Duo. I really enjoyed this. I don't think the colors are very unique. I mean, I feel like you can find other things in your collection. This blush is a pretty standard blush shade, and the highlighter is very reminiscent of Cookie from Benefit, if you've ever had that, so highly recommend this, though. Very good quality, and it made my skin super glowy. And last but not least, the palette. I think all of the shades in here are very cohesive and very just... Fall. I think it makes a lot of sense. All the shades, it's very everyday wearable for the average consumer, but you also have pops of color, which I think are really fun. And it just screams like October, November to me, like this color story. 10 out of 10 recommend. The formula is amazing. The mattes I would say are on the better side, but it was the shimmers that really stood out to me. I think the shimmers are just the creamiest shimmer formula I've ever tried in my life. Overall, I think everything in this collection made sense. I feel like every piece was cohesive in the collection and made sense in the collection. And um, yeah, I think it was very well done. One of the better done Disney collections. It wasn't very tacky like some of them tend to be, but it was very cohesive and really romanticized the makeup. I feel like everything in here makes perfect sense with Cinderella as her character and what she would most likely wear. That is all for today's video, friends. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!